Today, I would like to share with you Beta Palafina. Don't go anywhere. Amber Menard of Big City Betas was nice enough to share with me her proven breeding pair of wild-caught Beta Palafina. Today we are observing a 10-gallon biotope aquarium set up by Amber in a hotel room. Please keep in mind this footage was filmed in the dark from across the room. Beta Palafina is included in the Beta Complex Una Maculata. This wild beta is a rare and endangered species which is known to be found in clear forest streams in central Borneo, amongst other locations. These streams have soft sandy and leaf littered bottoms with patches of aquatic vegetation. The water temperatures in which these fish are found are typically 73 to 76 degrees Fahrenheit with a pH ranging from 5.5 .5 to 7.0. Beta Palafina is tan and brown with a green and blue iridescence. Males are darkly hued while females are much lighter. This iridescence can be fired up and down depending on the mood of the fish. The adult male's gill plates are adorned with metallic scales that range from sky blue to gold. Keep in mind this also depends on the location of the collection. Both the male and the female have a black spot at the base of their spade shaped caudal fins and the females have a glossy and transparent band near the outer edges of their anal and caudal fins. They are also often striped and will exhibit striping outside of their breeding bars. Coloring is only vivid when they are expressing dominance or have a desire to spawn. It should be noted that each collection point has a specific number of rays and scales. This fish can reach and exceed a length of three inches as can the entire complex depending on age. Beta Palafina is a paternal mouth brooder and it has been noted that the females normally initiate spawning. She will start by displaying breeding bars, posturing, as well as lots of color changes, fin movements, and swimming side by side about the tank. Eggs and milt are released in small batches during an embrace known as wrapping. During this process, the male wraps his body around that of the female. There are several quote unquote dummy attempts before spawning commences. Both the male and the female have been observed collecting the fertilized eggs. Those eggs picked up by the female are spat into the mouth of the male. The male should incubate the eggs for 14 to 21 days and the incubation time can vary due to water temperatures. Please keep in mind Beta Palafina is an extremely aggressive beta fish. The female should be removed otherwise the male won't likely successfully hold or worse will be killed. The females are known to predate on the fry so these fish should only be housed in pairs unless attempting to pair up juveniles. Please keep in mind only 20 people worldwide and 4 people in the United States have reported successful spawns in captivity. All of these spawnings were individually housed pairs and the females were removed while the males held the eggs. It is recommended to never move a holding male if possible, instead remove the female. 
The recommended aquarium setup for Beta Palafina should consist of soft sand substrate, small hardscapes such as driftwood, and plenty of leaf litter is a must for this species. It is also important to keep in mind that dim lighting will actually promote the health of the fish's slime coat. Recommended plants include such species as java fern, java moss, anubias, and crypts. Floating plants such as duckweed, frogbit, and water lettuce can offer cover and comfort for the fish. It is highly recommended to not use a filter with this species. The flow will bother the fish, disturb the breeding process, and it has been noted that these fish tend to do better in higher TDS. Beta palafina must be housed in a well-covered aquarium for two main reasons. These fish are excellent jumpers and it is important to not fill the aquarium to the top as like all beta species, these fish require occasional access to the layer of humid air that will form between the water surface and the cover. This species, like many other beta fish, is likely to prey on insects as well as small invertebrates and zooplankton in nature. Captive fish of this species will normally accept dried products once they are recognized as edible, but it is recommended to offer plenty of small live and frozen foods such as Daphnia, Artemia, and Bloodworm. I have to say I am honored to have had the opportunity to witness and film the courtship behaviors of this species. Please keep in mind, Beta Palafina is a very rare and endangered species. I do not recommend it being kept in captivity, unless for conservation purposes such as breeding this species and preserving its genetics for future generations to come. I want to say thank you so much to Amber from Big City Betas for giving me the opportunity to film these fish. If you're interested in beta fish and you want to learn more, check out her YouTube channel, Big City Betas, or you can contact her on Facebook for her list of livestock. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this species spotlight of Beta Palafina. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this content and you want to see more of it, go ahead and subscribe. And remember guys, keep your tanks clean, your fish fed, and have fun.